Hello, gentlemen. My name is Bucky. I'm 19. I've been playing Fortnite all day, past four years, 14 hours a day. Not a lot of female interaction. Started going to the gym recently, so hopefully I can like, meet the love of my life soon. Yeah, that's pretty much my goal, man. This is all new to me, because I'm an old man, right? Mm -hmm. You guys just play video games all day. 16 hours. And, and you get paid for it. It's like an athlete, but in a different dimension. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I consider myself an athlete. What is the chance of me beating one of you at Fortnite? Because I've never played before. Zero percent. The chance yeah, of probably, me beating probably, you in boxing, pretty much. Yeah. Is it that, is it that that low? low. Yeah, no, it's it's well, yeah, it's, you need a you know four years of practice nonstop. That sounds a lot like my life. Like a hundred people dumped in one place, most die. I'm the last one standing. So I'm, okay. I'm familiar. I don't I, like you may do it with the little controller. I'm doing it out here for real on the street. Andrew, have you ever killed someone? What's this Twitch, bro? I can't I can't be saying certain things on Twitch. So that's a yes. I, it's it's not a yes, it's not a no. <laughs> oh, so but, it's just uh, uh, yeah, okay. All right. And it also it. depends. Like if you want me to answer the question professionally, which I will, it also depends. Let's say you got a member of your energy team to kill someone, would you and you ordered the hit, would you be the person who killed him? Yes. And for, and Fortnite, yeah. All right, cool. So it's basically, all right, so you're basically playing like Fortnite, but in real life, I get it. But life is a video game, right? We're living inside the matrix. I believe mm. we're living inside of a simulation. The simulation could be hacked and affected in real time. And life is very, very similar to a video game. You start off with absolutely no credentials and no resource and no power. And you go out there and you get a bunch of money and you get as big and strong as possible. Get the best guns you can, the best cars you can, the best girls you can, the best house you can. And that's it. That's the game. I just don't understand why you guys do it online instead of doing it for real. That's the one that, thing that, to me. I actually, do it for real. I'm a bitch. Well, I mean, this is a, yeah. Would you say your life has been hard? I would just say I missed a huge portion of my life. Cause like I started playing Fortnite when I was like 14. And then like, I, so I didn't go to high school or anything. So I would just say I missed a big like social aspect of my life. Like I didn't really talk to girls for the past four years and stuff like that. So I would say it kind of difficult in that aspect. But like money wise, it's been pretty easy. When I was 19, if any bitch walked past me, I was like, hello. I didn't give a fuck. I was all over it. How are you so confident? Like, I'm gonna be honest. Like I'm, sh I'm shaking when I'm talking to a girl. I'm, I'm full fucking, it I'm is, scared as fuck. It is really fucking scary, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but why is it scary? Well, you got your oh, servant. Uh, nice. Thank nice. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Dar, I like you. Soul, sir. I like right, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. But, but what do you have to be scared of? See, this, is, this, is, this is what's amazing to me, that you'd be scared of social interaction. This is why I'm hmm. saying the entire thing. See, that's what you get for trying to flex with your fucking servant. Now you're gonna get wet. What the fuck? What, what, what the fuck did you just do? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, so, sorry. Hey, hey. The reason you guys are uh, worried about social rejections because you're not used to it. Most of the girls I tried to speak to would say no. I just didn't give a shit. I just didn't like, care. You knew that, you know, like, at the end of the day, there's so many women in the sea. You know what I'm saying? Completely. Me, like, as long as you don't offend anyone or hurt anyone, it can be a very, very polite interaction. You can go over to a girl and say, excuse me, I think you're absolutely beautiful. And mm. she could say, uh... I'm not interested. And you could say, yeah. okay, have a nice day. Goodbye. It's, it hasn't got to be negative. It can be very, very happy. It's like, it's very, very how do I get to that step? Because like, dude, when I, I I'm not, I'm not even trying to be weird. Whenever I talk to a girl, all they really care about is like what I have, like money, you know, social media. I think you're a good looking like guy. Like, I mean, like everyone, it's just like a genuine. Every, everyone does. That's fine. But the point I made, wait, bro, don't die from that cigar. <laughs> Excuse me. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> how, do you smoke no, a, how do you smoke a cigar? Easily. I don't know how to do it, man. You'll be all right. You'll work it out. And if you don't make it, that's just one less player in the Fortnite universe. It's fine. There's, there's others. One space open on the team. You are both spoiled brats, and you're spoiled because you're fucking rich at a young age doing the funnest job on the fucking I, world. I, I worked and, for it. Yeah, of course you worked for it. Like, Doesn't 14, mean 14 hours a day working. How's that mean? 14 hours a day doing what everyone wants to do. That's not work. Work is doing what people don't want to do. Work is not doing the thing that people do for fun in their spare time, regardless of how good you are at it. That's not work. I don't consider a world-level tennis player. I wouldn't say, oh, his job. No, he's an athlete. He loves tennis. He's always loved tennis. Everyone loves tennis, and he's the best at it. You love the video game, and you're good at it. Good, congratulations. But you are a spoiled brat. You do not understand the realities of the world financially. You do not understand the realities of the world socially. And now you have a whole bunch of social status that you've worked for. And to gain it, all you've had to do is play a video game where there's basically zero real-world risk. This is what you don't understand. You think it's risky. You have an adrenaline rush when you're running around with pixels on a fucking screen. It's not even real. Respectfully, I don't think you understand how hard like a Fortnite tournament is and how much like it actually like takes on your mental health. Respectfully, you're not listening to the meta point I am making. I'm not saying that it's easy. I'm sorry. I am saying, yes, the video game at a competitive level is a difficult game to play. I understand that. I am not saying that. I am saying that you have gained a bunch of social status, social status without taking real world risk. You are now financially secure at a very young age, doing something that everyone loves to do anyway. Mm -hmm. You're 
rats. Let's assume for some reason you can never play video games again. Let's say they're outlawed, whatever. Yeah, Let's assume, yeah, right? Yeah, Neither yeah. of you are prepared to go out into the real world and do real work. Neither of you are prepared to go get a minimum wage job and wash cars like everyone else your age does. Neither of you are prepared to work 10 years in a career to finally get some success. Neither of you are prepared to stand up and take an ass kicking from 10 guys bigger than you to prove you're not a pussy. No, you prove you're not a pussy in the pixelated world. Downside two, as soon as I put my computer away, I'm scared to walk the street in case someone kicks the shit out of me. I don't know if you think I look like a big guy or not. I'm six foot one though. Like no one's my ass. I took boxing lessons and shit. Like I'm, a, I'm actually tough as fuck. Okay, good. Are you saying I should take steroids? No, I don't take steroids. You don't take steroids? Fuck no, I've never Stop. taken a steroid in my life. Stop lying to me, bro. I have never taken a steroid in my life. I was tested my whole entire kickboxing career, of course, first. And secondly, I've never taken a steroid. I don't lie. I, if I lied, I'm sure it would come out the end. So how, how do you get, how do you get what you have? Like I train. I'll tell you something. If either of you two have had a hard life or genuinely been through any suffering, you wouldn't be afraid to go up to a bitch and say, hello. She ain't going to fucking shoot you, is she? Scary. You're worried about, you're scared of that. And then you're going to sit here and tell me you've had a stressful life. Bullshit. It's a fucking lie. If you've been through anything real like I have, I, I'll go up to any bitch on the planet. I'll go up to fucking Oprah. I don't know the fuck. Hi. I ain't scared of nobody, right? Yeah, how you're how, do, you, how do you not get nervous, though? Why would I be nervous? Because girls are like I've scary. Had try to, I've had people try to kill me. Why would I be nervous about saying hello to some chick? I mean, I guess. You need to suffer, both of you. There is okay. no reason why you couldn't go to the boxing gym and take an ass kicking three times a week. You're saying you already do it, then go do it. Where's your black eye? You ain't fucking boxing like I was boxing at your age. Bro, bro. There's no reason why you bro, can't bro. invite. I got, I got nine bro. stitches right here. Bro. Good. Well, then you should have been through. Then, then, then you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. You need to go mm -hmm. to the boxing gym. You need to go to the gym. You need to get in fantastic shape. You need to take something you're uncomfortable with and do it anyway. You said mm -hmm. you have social anxiety. You need to agree to some speaking uh, gigs. Go talk in front of a whole big crowd of people. Why don't you just get around your house and not be a creep and not be a weirdo? Yeah, okay, just, and just I get them over, I just get like really, really nervous. Bro. Like, like girls are like really, really scary, especially if they're like above like a seven. Like I just like, I don't know. I just don't really know how to talk to them. And a lot of girls, like they don't really have good game too. So like, I don't understand when a girl doesn't have game and you have to carry the conversation. Like I have negative risk. Why would a girl have game? Because she's attracted to you. Because she's attracted. Even if she's attracted to you, why would she have game? So you never had an experience where a girl was feeling you and was all over you because that's, well, that's game. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you could get girls who are all over you. But my point is that girls don't have game because the whole point of game is that it's a prerequisite to uh, hooking up with a chick, right? Men have to develop game. You're both sitting here saying you have no game. And you, and you find it scary and nervous to, to develop game. But the only reason you're going to bother to do it is because you need it as a necessity. Women don't need it as a necessity. So why would they develop game when they don't need it? How do I work on my game? Just like going out there, being uncomfortable and stuff like that. Is that just the best way to do it? She's the value. So you, yeah, you need to put, you need to test yourself. You should have girls on your house every day and you should not be a creepy weirdo. And you have no reason to be afraid. What are you afraid of? What do you think is going to happen? If they're gonna reject me. Wait, Andrew, I, I have a question. How do you feel about um? How do you feel about vaping, like the flavored flavored sticks? I've talked about this at length. I'm extremely anti-vape. Oh, really? Do you vape? No, no. That's a lie. I would. Never I, I don't vape. I actually don't vape. Yeah, me neither. I'm like no troll. I don't vape. I, I, the reason I don't, the reason I'm anti-vape is because I saw a bunch of things in the news saying that vape is hurting people badly and giving them cancer and damaging their lungs and blah 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 and tobacco mm. something i mean i smoke tobacco obviously so it's not just about the fact that it's smoking it's about nobody understands what's in okay he's vaping so nobody understands what's in these what flavor is that my friend uh it's splash ice it's actually really really good splash lake uh splash ice it's splash ice it's actually really good splash ice Okay, so the reason I would never vape is because I have no idea what chemical combination, what concoction would be required to try and make something taste like splash ice. I, I, I can't even fathom or name a single chemical that they would put inside of that. And neither can yeah. you. you. No one knows what it is. So, I mean, you're inhaling. I mean, I know I'm inhaling tobacco, but tobacco has been around a long time. We know the effects of tobacco. You could literally be drinking petrol. Fuck knows. Kerosene. You don't, nobody knows what it is. That's the whole point. <clears throat> How do you feel about so, smoking weed? I personally don't smoke weed. I'm anti-weed because I think weed makes people. I think weed makes people lethargic and lazy. And the number one problem with most people in the world is they're already lethargic and lazy. So why would they amplify their issue? That's actually a really good point. Andrew, do you think well, I'm a bitch? Be honest. I don't know. I, I think that for your money and income and 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 age, I don't think you're doing what you should be doing. I'm you're not the most that rich. Okay, but your bills are paid, correct? Yeah. Okay, so at your age, I I couldn't even pay my bills. Couldn't even eat. How do I become like? A top G, like what, like, cause you're, you know, could it, could there be multiple top G's? Or are you the only top G? No, I'm the only top G, but I can tell you how you become a top G. You can how attempt, you can attempt to get close to the top of the mountain. To be top G, you need to be competent in all areas.
And this is what your goal as a man should be as well. My father had a quote, which is an amazing quote. He said, my unmatched perspicacity. Do you know what perspicacity means? Wait, hold on. Bro. Bro, what the fuck are y'all doing? Fix me at Ikea and uh, pour up in water, please. Oh, bro, shit. What the... Andrew? How you doing, bro? Keep her in line, bro. You're doing good. You need to show these two how to get a chick. Nice to see another one of my kind here. Well, you know, there's not many of us left, but, you know, we, we got to do what we got to do. Get on your knees. Bro, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. hop, hop, hop. Bro, what the fuck what are the you guys fuck? doing? Oh, my fucking God, bro. Tell you a very easy way to not look like a bitch. Not be a bitch. Life changing. Why would you? Why would you want to try and pretend you're not a bitch when you can actually just not be one? You asked me what a top G was. A top G is my father's quote. My unmatched perspicacity, coupled with sheer indefatigability, makes me a feared opponent in any realm of human endeavor. Do you know what perspicacity means? No. no. The ability to perceive, to be perceptive. Do you know what indefatigability means? Yes. No. The inability to become tired. So the point is, if you can look around and perceive and pay attention and notice things and never become tired, and never become lazy and always work hard, you will be a feared opponent in all realms. When you say top G, the reason I call myself top G is because if you name anything, maybe, maybe not Fortnite yet, but if you name nearly anything and they tell you you're going to be competing against Tate, people will be intimidated. You're going to go to the racetrack and you've got a Lambo and you're racing a guy. Who am I racing? Tate. You're going to be like, hmm. You're going to box. You're boxing Tate. You're going to go try and get a girl, but the other guy trying to get the girl is Tate. You're going to, doesn't matter what it is. You named the scenario. If you're up against me, part of you is going to be like, oh, not him. Is there anyone else? What are your thoughts on Jake Paul? He is a very dedicated young man who is working very, very hard to uh, win his boxing matches. Would you there beat his ass? I, I know I beat his ass. Now, I think he's very, very clever with his marketing when he comes along and says, I'm just a YouTuber because he's not just a YouTuber. He's a young man who's dedicated with the best coaches in the world, with money, with time, just like you two. But he's not a little pussy. He's not playing fucking not video games. That's crazy. That's crazy. Listen, listen, yeah. Jake Paul doesn't have to fight, right? He's doing it to test himself because he understands the masculine imperative to put yourself into the fire and come out forged. Jake Paul is actually someone that you two should both be looking up to. He's aspirational for you two. He was a YouTuber, had a bunch of money, could have just fucking carried on being a jackass. Instead, decided, you know what? If I'm going to be something of merit, I'm going to have to go through something difficult. So he put himself through something difficult, and he does it on purpose every single day. So yeah. Jake Paul is a perfect role model for both of you. Wait, so how, but, much, how much money do you actually have? Because I feel like you're like, I don't want to be an asshole, like in most recycling possible. I feel like you're actually like kind of broke. Why? I don't know. I just feel like you try to give off the impression that you have a lot of money, but like in reality, like you don't actually have that much money. Like I feel like Clicks probably has more money than you. So if Clicks wants to go first, I mean, how much money do you make for playing Fortnite? Yeah, all right, a couple M's a year. We talked earlier about perspicacity and how important it is to perceive things, right? Yep. Then he sits here and says he thinks I'm broke. Well, I have 27 cars with, with a combined net, a combined value of over $25 million. I have a Bugatti Chiron, which is $5.8 million. I have a private mm -hmm. plane. I have a boat. So you can, you can look at things that are just... Bat, that's 100 mil. That's 100 mil off the bat. Exactly. Those are things that are just on my Instagram page. The fact to sit there that he's, he has lacks perspicacity to a level where he's going to say to a guy who's worth hundreds of millions of dollars, I don't think you have any money, just shows that he's fucking... You don't even live in the real world, my friend. I do and I'm not, in the real world. Well, well, then you're not very perceptive. I don't even which, know what that is, word means. Okay, cool. Well, then you prove my point. And that's your problem, not mine. I don't give a shit, right? But my point is... Yeah, I have some money. I'm successful, but I'm also 35 years old. I'm not going to sit here and compare myself to you two because at your age, I had nothing. So at yeah. your age, you're both destroying me. I didn't have any money till I was 25, 26. I didn't have nothing. So yeah. you're, ahead of, you're ahead of me in terms of like for like comparison. But also when I was your age, the internet wasn't a thing. So like, all I could do was work in a fucking bullshit store. There's, there's, there's no way to make money, right? So it's, it's, not, it's not the exact same world. But to sit and say I'm kind of broke, I mean, that's, that's up to you if you want to, if you want to go along, Sorry, if you had I, any, I, I no, it's fine. No, Mr. Andrew, I, I, I could tell you're rich. Like I could tell you're yeah, very wealthy. Oh, oh, sorry. So would you consider on. yourself spoiled as well? No, I would not consider myself spoiled. So you're spoiled. You're spoiled. I'm not spoiled. Okay. <laughs> Bro, you are a bitch. What the fuck? Okay, I'm not fucking spoiled. I play 14 hours of fucking Fortnite every single day. I have fucking hate. I have to deal with all the hate. I have to be able to rotate one. Literally, first fucking moving, zero fucking math. Get 70 fucking surge. Actually, get into the fucking zone. Get a certain amount of points to get first in the tournament. When I get first in the tournament, my contract goes up. My contract goes up. The salary goes up. Boom. Better. If I don't do good, my money goes down. I lose you're more money. Fortnite, sure. You're spoiled because your children with more money than you should have and you're earning it in the best possible way possible. That makes you spoiled. 
Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not gonna defend myself. You're right. You're you, right. You, you should honest. defend yourself. I'm not gonna lie though. Like me personally, no, I'm not, me personally, I'm not letting anyone speak to me like that. That's no, just no, me. no. He's he's. I mean, I never oh, worked a job. Even worse, you're even worse because at least he's richer than you, bro. You're doing the same shit, and you're a brokey. I'm not a brokey. I probably have more money than you. There's I, no I'm, way. I'm just, I'm just young. You give me time. I'm gonna get in a boxing show. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat the fuck out of some people, and then I'm gonna be so. I'm gonna make my own hustlers university. I'm gonna be a billionaire by the time I'm your age. No, you're broke as fuck. I, I I'm broke. not to agree with. I ain't gonna be broke. That's why I put Brokey here. This is Brokey. It's to represent our friend here on the left. This is it. <laughs> Yo, personally, me, broke. personally, me, I'll not I take that. You speak to me like that. Andrew, Andrew, say, be honest. Be completely honest. Do I'm not gonna think... let you speak to me like that. I'm not gonna let you. Speak. Bro, listen. Oh, the, who the fuck, fuck do you think you're talking to? Which would fuck you up at? Fortnite. I would fuck you up. No, I would literally. Fucking, no one's fucking. Anyone up. Not Andrew, Anyone up. He hasn't won a tournament. He hasn't won a tournament in three years. I won one no yesterday. Tournament. I won a tournament yesterday. I don't give a fuck about no fucking no, 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 tournament. I'm not sure you're agreeing with Andrew. I'm not agreeing with Andrew. Dog. You're a fucking bitch. You didn't call for fucking FNTS. You're a pussy. Fuck this. Who's in Grand? Who's in Grand? Who's not? Who's in Grand? You're still a bitch, bro. Clicks would, fuck, clicks would fuck you up at Fortnite, and he obviously gets. Obviously, that's why he gets paid more than you, and that's why you're a brokey. Just saying. I'm not a brokey, bro. Stop calling me that. Thank you. Someone had to agree with me. I, I just couldn't stand up for lie. myself to say. Andrew T, would you box me? Be completely honest. Like, do you think I would have a shot against you? Take off the shirt. Take off the Absolute, shirt. Absolutely zero percent chance. Oh do God. you think I'd have a shot against you? I'll tell you, it would make a really good Twitch stream. What's you fly that? here. Oh. You fly, fly here. You. Economy. Don't waste all your money. <laughs> Smart guy. Listen, Smart guy. Listen, first of all, don't make those dumbass fucking remarks. I'm not a bitch. All right. I'm flying first fucking class. I might fly my private jet. Matter of fact, continue. Okay. If you want to get, if you want to fly first class again, <laughs> it's no problem. Not you can come here and we'll, and we'll Twitch stream. You and I have a boxing match. I, and we'll, I, I'll actually take you up on that offer. You give me like two months of training, take some steroids and shit. Game day, baby. Game day. Uh, so what is it? It's Friday, the 22nd of July. So on the 22nd of August, when your ass doesn't turn up, can can the, the internet never forgets, guys? So can everyone on the internet please screenshot this, screen record it, etc. Start reminding him in September because there's no fucking way he's coming to. I'll fucking case. be there. On my life, I'll, I'll be there. Where are you at? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I, I'm gonna have to go, Andrew. You're dead. No, I'm. The oh, fuck? No, like I'm, I know, I'll, like I'll I, I, I'll I know, I knew you for a long time. I marked in my calendar. I'll be there. All right, September's twenty second. We'll box. I'm waiting for you. September twenty. All right. So I gotta come to you. Of course you do. So you just got bitched. I'm not. Listen, clicks. You're the biggest bitch here, bro. He's he's richer than you, though. I'm matter. richer, stronger, more bitches. If you want me to get a girl on stream? I know I can get a girl on stream. Get a girl and on stream. Get a girl on Come stream. Come on then. Let's go. Guys. He's capping out of his ass. He's not getting any girls. He's capping out of his ass. All right, Andrew, say, be completely honest. Do you think he's a bitch? Let's talk shit about him. Who do you think's more of a bitch, me or clicks? It's hard to say, bro. It's kind of like it's a race to the bottom. You know. Race to the bottom. What does that mean? I mean, you know, it's just like, just trying to choose. Imagine, imagine you're walking through the forest and you're walking and your boots accidentally kick up some mud and you see two worms on the floor and they're both slivering around on the floor. And someone said, which worm is a better worm than the other worm? And you're kind of looking at them both just going. Listen, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to erase that from my memory and pretend you didn't just call me a fucking worm. All right. You are a worm. No, motherfucker. You're not going to talk to me like that. I'm just going to erase that from my memory because when we box, I don't want to remember that. Otherwise, you're really going to get hurt bad. You are a worm, and there is 0% chance you arrive here on the 27th but, of September. But just watch it. Just watch it. Now you, now that I think about it, you look, you do look like a fucking worm. He called you a fucking worm too, motherfucker. Don't act Wait, like you're in the fucking clear. Andrew, and, tell Andrew me just, just want to talk. He, he wanted to talk to me he like called that. called you a worm. He, he said he you were a bitch. Like he, he said he you were a bitch. That. He wanted to talk to me like that. Me and clicks are close. Once you get past a certain level of money, like you switching up right now After we don't we don't we don't we here. don't talk to, we don't talk to the broke dude i'm gonna keep it real bucky you need a billionaires don't talk to each other like that so billionaires just, don't talk to each other money thing yeah wow it's, uh, i cannot believe this just got turned on me after he no, just no, I'm, just, I'm just being honest i have a question yeah um do you think guys and girls can be friends like just no. friends no why not guys and girls being friends is basically just a bunch of worms who are too scared to tell the pussy they want to fuck her sit in the friend zone Doing bullshit, doing bullshit for her without even getting any sex in return, being abused and used for their attention, and that's all the friend zone. Re that's all the male female dynamic of friendship really is. The chick knows the guy likes her. She just fucking takes the attention for free because she doesn't give give no pussy out. 
and the guy's too scared to say anything about it. So that's why I have no female friends. There's girls who I sleep with. There's girls who I want to sleep with, who I'm getting to know. There's girls who know I want to sleep with them, who aren't interested, who don't talk to me. That's fine. I don't have any female friends, not a single fucking one. And Clicks here is about to lose his female friend. He's either going to lose his friend or gain a girlfriend. I like her as a friend, and I like, like you know, she asked me for a guy oh, advice. I, oh. I give her guy. What? You just sound like fuck? a full-on fucking about? bitch. No, no, I'm being like... How are you going to let him get away with saying some shit like that, Andrew? Like, what do you mean? You help her with guy? What? The like, no, fuck? like, she, she, she you shit. know, she... She like messaged me, yeah, I'm talking to this guy and like, I'm really nervous. Like, what do I respond with this? And then I respond like, oh yeah, you should probably say this because he probably feels a certain way. And I'm going to be honest, I, I, I caught feelings for her. And like, it, you know, she, you know, she probably had, she did have sex with a couple people and shit. And that shit hurt. I don't want to, you know, break a friendship just because I want to, I want to have, have a sexual intercourse with her. Bro. Wow. I don't know what to say. Andrew, don't let that shit slide. So Andrew, he's a big Yo, fan of you. He's a pro, he's a, the oldest pro Fortnite player. I am the oldest pro Fortnite player, indeed. And and dude, I have nothing personal against you, Andrew. But he thinks like, you're a bitch, though. Some of your philosophy, I don't think you're a bitch. I think you're a water boy. I'll switch you off. know, for water boy for patriarchy and and capitalism and whatnot, right? And sort of regressive ideas about manhood, and uh, which is why the teenage audience like consumes it so much. You know, you got these young boys that are like grappling with feelings of powerlessness and you come in and offer them like the ultimate machismo ideas of like how to be a man but you're just you're so off base bro it's, it's like it's tragic really so uh, you think that i am inspiring the oh. youth of today me personally the masculine youth of today to I'm become man that shit. That's, that's just me though so that's the first fallacy i've let you talk now it's my turn that's the first right. fallacy Second fallacy is this whole patriarchy bullshit you're saying that are outdated ideas of masculinity. Yeah. The idea of patriarchy is not an outdated idea of masculinity. Perhaps in the West, in a declining empire, as we've already discussed on this stream, in an empire which is in absolute decline, you can have men who sit here and think there's absolutely nothing necessary about masculinity in the modern world and that you don't need to be strong or brave or any of these things. You can sit around and cry and you're still a man. That is not true in most places on the planet. In most places on the planet, men need to be capable and competent because if they don't, they do not survive. And I'll tell you something now, sir. I'll tell you something else now. You will sit here and talk about all, talk right now about the patriarchy and how you can be in touch with your feelings and all this bullshit. The second you're physically assaulted or physically threatened, the first thing you do is you call a toxically masculine police officer to turn up with a weapon to protect you because you cannot protect yourself. You are not against the idea of masculine power. You're not against the idea of men who have masculine imperatives to defense. All you've done is outsource it to someone else to do at the end of a phone call because you're too scared to do it yourself. So you're fucking exactly. lying. You're lying. No, that's, you that's you absolutely these incorrect. Ideas. You don't want to do them yourself, and you hope everyone else does them for you so you can sit around and play fucking video games. And Holy you talk about exploitation. Fuck. You absolutely exploit people. For you to come along and say, I think it's okay to be weak is fine. That is your See, initiative. That is your no. decision. But the reason but, you have but, done that is because you but, lack brave. You lack balls. No, you're, you're not, you're, you lack oh, you lack balls. Dude, I have more balls than you'll ever have, boss. Because you, you're changing the goalpost here because you're the one who's sitting here calling emotional strength and emotional vulnerability you're defining it as weakness it's, it's not all forms of strength are important you're saying it's that it's not you're, yes it is physical strength it's, is just as important as emotional strength you're right that's a good point you're saying so when someone comes along to assault you you won't call the police afterwards and you won't fight back you'll lay in a ball you get an ass kicking but you're emotionally strong enough to just to deal with the fact that you got an ass in front of everyone no, you're weak. And that's he, fine. Was, and everyone should be like you. And that, you know what we again, call, I'm not know, saying people everyone People like you are called like in you. most places in the world. People like you yeah. are called in most places studs. in the world are called victims. We're you're called, called prey. Studs. You're a prey. We're called studs. And, and, and let me tell you something. When I inspire men to grow up and be their biggest, strongest version of themselves, emotionally, mentally, physically, in every single realm, that is not a negative thing. There's nothing wrong with a man being big and strong. One more thing. Right. If me and you were to stand side by side in front of 100 women, in front of 100 fucking police officers, 100 fucking enemies who want to kill us, whatever it is, they would all choose to fuck with you before they choose to fuck with me. Because they'd look at me and I have a certain status and a certain presence which comes from my physical stature. Not just because of my capability, but because of the things I've gone through to become this physical specimen of man. They know I'm not the kind of guy who you really want to mess with. They'd look at you, you and go... He you, is a victim because that's what you, you look like, my friend, and it's your own see, choice. Here we go. Right, right. Here's the deal, I'm Andrew. Gonna, I'm gonna have to. No, 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 no. I'm not done. No, we, name, it, name, hey, Andrew, name, hey, Andrew, Andrew, listen to me. History that wasn't patriarchal. 
Wow, that, that was, was uh, quite the conversation. How do you feel about my guy Tommy? He's I don't know him personally. I have nothing against him personally. His he lives in the, he's a new age thinker. He lives in the new think, the idea that the way the world runs and has always run is a bad thing and that if we change everything from the ground up it's somehow going to become a magically better place. Obviously, he has no proof or any references for his way of like his way of thinking because it's never been tested before. It's an untested theory. I think that him for him to come along and say such blanket statements that if we changed all the world leaders to women, there wouldn't be war is, is inane and asinine. I think for him to say that a man who's physically strong can't be mentally strong is also stupid. But I also understand why he's saying the ideas he's saying because he has a natural insecurity based on the fact that he's not a physical specimen of man. And the way he gets around it is to pretend that that's not important, which is fine. Lots of people do it, right? Stupid people saying being smart is not important. Poor people saying being rich is not important. It's a common defense mechanism that everybody does, and I completely understand it. However, most people with a basic grasp of economics and the way societies work would look at society and say, you know what? A society with brave, strong men who are full of honor and duty is actually a better society than men who walk around saying, I have no duty to protect anybody or protect anything, and I can just sit around and cry all day. Empirical evidence. Are you done? <laughs> yeah. Cool. I'm sure you're double vaccinated. It all makes sense to me now. You believe what you're told to believe. You don't believe your own eyes. You don't believe your own ears. And that's what you're going to sit here and talk about empirical evidence that you found on Google. Prerogative, my friend. And if you think that makes you sound smart. Um, Andrew, do you believe the earth is flat or round, spherical, globe? Round. I would probably You believe it's round, right? Why do you uh, believe the earth is round? Because I have personal experience that would prove to me that the earth is round. Oh, you have personal experience. What, what happened? Did you go up to the fucking moon? Well, is that correct. how you figured it out? Exactly. I flew up into space and I looked down on Earth <laughs> and I saw yeah. a big circle. That's crazy. Okay. There, we, you don't have to. Hey, listen. Oh, you don't have to concede God. on that point, but I think you and I both understand the importance <laughs> of scientific. Who's coming? Uh, who the importance of empirical evidence in that one, right? Or, who's, or you know, doing all our fun. And I, saw oh, there, G, and I thought, wow, this guy. Wow. Okay, oh, he's gonna ruin the stream. G, we had a hot chick. Now you're here. Oh, did you? Bro. Is that what you thought? Who the fuck is that dude? Oh my fucking God, bro! Andrew, 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 fucking invited Andrew, him. I just I want to sincerely. I'm sincere. Who the fuck is that guy? Please don't beat my ass. That's I want a sincere sincere program. You're a scam. Like, what the you better go off my Bucky. Just go off of him. It's, it wasn't I'm us. Sincerely apologize. I'm going to be honest. I, you guys are speaking a whole different language to me. I have zero clue. Program. Please, Who the please don't beat my boy? ass. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me drink oh. my sparkling water. I'm so sorry, Andrew Tate. Please don't beat my ass. It was it was a big mistake. I made a mistake. I'm going to learn from my mistake. Okay. I'm going to... Mr. Boring. What, what should okay, I do now, now that I made a mistake? I, I remember you giving a lesson about mistakes. What should I do now? I have to punish you know myself. No, I'm not even mad at you.